Good day everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you some information of Roger Malai, an example of nematodes. It will contain its characteristics, life cycle, diseases, symptoms, and treatments. Nematodes are also called as roundworms. They are among of the most abundant animals in the planet Earth, and they occur as parasites in animals, plants, including humans, and they are free living forms in soil, fresh water, and marine environments. Broja malai is a roundworm nematodes, one of the causative agents of lymphatic filariasis in humans. Lymphatic filariasis also known as elephantiasis, is a condition characterized by swelling of the lower limbs. Brogium Lai infect 13 million in South and Southeast Asia are responsible for the 10% of the world's total cases of lymphatic filariasis. Brogium Lai is endemic or potentially endemic in 16 countries, where it is common in Southern China, and India, but also occurs in Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, Malaysia, Philippines, and South Korea. Female adult worms measures between 43 to 55 micrometer in length by 130 to 173 micrometer in width. Brogia malayi microfilari measures 177 to 230 micrometer in length and 5 to 7 micrometer in width around anterior end and pointed posterior end. The sheep is actually the eggshell. A thin layer that surrounds the eggshell as the microfilari circulates in the blood streams. A microfilari retains the sheep until it is digested in the mosquito mid -gut. The typical victor of Brogia malai filariasis are mosquito species from genera Monsonia and Aedes. And now, let's proceed to its life cycle. The first cycle, they develop into adults that commonly reside in the lymphatics. The second stage is the adult worms resemble those of Wuchereria bancroftibot are smaller. Third, a mosquito ingests the microfilari during a blood meal. Fourth level, after ingestion, the microfilari lose their sheets and work their way through the wall of the proventriculus and cardiac portion of the mid gut to reach the thoracic muscle. The fifth stage, there are microfilari developed in the first stage larvae, the sixth stage, and subsequently in the third stage larvae. The seventh stage is the Third stage larvae migrate through the homocoil to the mosquito's proboscis and can infect another human when the mosquito takes a blood meal. And now, let's proceed to its symptoms. A symptomatic phase, upon initial infection, no symptoms may be present as microfilari mature. Brugimali is one of the causative agent of lymphatic filariasis a condition marked by infection and swelling of lymphatic system. The disease is primarily caused by presence of worms in lymphatic vessels and resulting host response. Sign infections are typically consistent with those seen in Bakovian filariasis, fever, lymphadenitis, lymphagitis, lymphedema, and secondary bacterial infection. Lymphadenitis cause swelling of limbs smooth that may occur prior to maturation. Lymphangitis Inflammation of lymphatic vessels usually after maturation. The affected lymphatic vessels become distended and tender, and the overlying skin becomes erythematous and hot. Abscess formation and oscillation of affected lymph nodes occasionally occurs during Brugia malai infection. The next one is lymphedema or elephantiasis. It is the enlargement of the limbs. Consistent irritation of lymphatic vessels leading to blockages caused by dead adult worms 
inflammatory fibrosis or granulomatous reactions. Elephantiasis resulting from Rojumalai infection typically affects the lower extremities of the legs and arms. Last one is secondary bacteria infections. Lymph node failure caused by extended overstimulation. And now let's talk about the treatment. Dipycarbamazine will be assist the drug of choice. A patient must take doxycycline 200mg per day for 4 to 6 weeks. Livamisol hydrochloride also been used for the treatment of bronchopathy, rhodiomalai, and tropical pulmonary eosinophilia. Evermectin shown a great promise in the treatment of liriasis and eosinophilic lung. However, in patients with elephantiasis, surgical procedures are required as chemotherapy cannot reverse the fibrotic changes. The first thing to do is to sleep in air conditioning room. Second, to sleep under mosquito net. However, during dust and dawn, always wear trousers and long sleeves and always apply mosquito repellent and exposed skin. I hope you learned something in my video. Thanks for watching!